All right. Everything wrong with the cutie map, part one. Is anyone else bothered by the fact that such an iconic location in the show is replaced by this heartless toy placement? Thanks for the recap, Dash. Oh, I wonder what changes we'll see in the theme for this season. It's about time for an update. Okay, so they removed the library and added the castle, so this season's changes include click, delete, and copy, paste. You can't tell if that train is 3D or just really well animated. I love how the train just like, nope, 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 I'm out of here. Welcome. This abundance of friendliness is the closest the main six will ever come to meeting their own fandom. Party favor just walked over to Rarity with the sole intention of just staring at her as creepily as possible. The first words of this character mouth are welcome i'm going to... welcome. this guy remembers names almost too well i'm a pony bird princess <laughs> technically the marks on our butts brought us here song time song time <laughs> careful there show you almost turned into a pmv I, I think pinky wins best face of the episode right there this might be the only time pinky has ever been the fun police there's a lot of equal symbolism in this episode like, a lot. <laughs> like, some subtle, some right in her face. You're not supposed to know we're here. Is she talking to me? Was that the script? When you're looking at someone, sometimes you'll look at both their eyes at different times. Like, you'll be looking at one eye, then you look at the other eye. And they actually animate that tiny, subtle movement. So if everyone's equal, why would they assign the one-time baker to be the baker now? It seems like they would want to mix things up on purpose. Whoa, Sugar Bell, personal space. What if Hasbro is making all these equal ponies just for the sake of not having to print different cutie marks or different hairstyles? It's all the toys are the same now. It's so much cheaper to manufacture. It's just different color molds or different color plastic. It's all conspiracy. I told myself I wouldn't nitpick tiny little animation errors on here, but I, I have to point this one out for those that haven't seen it. Are they like a physical object that you can just like slap on and take off? I don't understand. Are they flat like a flash symbol or do they actually have depth to them? Can you look around the kitty mark? Are they? There's so many questions in this episode, none are answered. Plastic wrap. Here's the map. Check the app. Water's on tap. Pinky's wrap. Baseball cap. This is crap. Wait, so when you remove the kitty mark, the equal sign just appears? All right, it was a little bit creepy before, but now it's officially getting disturbing. Translation, screw you, yellow horse. There's the Facebook joke to make in there somewhere. How does not funny Pinkie Pie manage to be even funnier? They told me not to watch ponies all night long, but I didn't listen. How does one open hooves? Someone needs to edit Starline to every friendship letter ever. The most dramatic commercial break cliffhanger of all time. A small cottage. <laughs> Applejack's all like, yeah, screw this picture in particular. Pinkie Pie has some serious competition. Just go. You've already wasted 20 seconds just standing around. I love how it's the main six, and then there's all the other ponies. It's the ones that come with the play sets, and the ones on the checkout racks. Wait, hold on. Wait. Twilight has wings? I think this episode wins an award for the strangest placement of a Wilhelm screen. All aboard the hype train.